Fox 29 is WFLX TV, West Palm Beach. Now, South Florida and the Treasure Coast's only primetime newscast. Live, this is the 10 o'clock news. The body of a young boy is pulled from the St. Lucie River only hours after he and his sister drowned submerged in a truck that became their coffin. Hello, everyone. More on that story in a moment. But first, it chased families out of their homes in Belle Glade. Now, Mercury sends students into the night at Florida Atlantic University. Traces of Mercury forced students at FAU to evacuate to Boca Raton. Police say this is the third discovery in less than one week. Sally Lewis joins us now, first and live from the FAU campus with more. Sally. Jeff and Leslie, I'm standing in front of Hemin uh, Seminole Hall on the FAU campus. This is the dormitory that has been evacuated since 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can see by the tape all around the building that nobody is allowed back inside any of the entrances until they are told that everything is okay. Members of a hazardous materials company surveyed the mercury a little while ago along with a member of the DEP. They have determined that mercury was dumped or spilled on the second floor and then it spilled onto the first floor, meaning students won't be allowed back inside until air quality tests show there is no mercury vapor in the air. Happened 